What is going on everyone? Rykon here, back with another video. And today what I'll be bringing you is going to be a kind of, not a top 10, but a top pulls of this last year. So with us getting ready to roll into the new year, starting tomorrow, I figured I would put together a little video of some of the stuff that I've pulled and this this year and kind of show you some of the stuff now first of all I'm going to say this I, I I've just recently got back into collecting basketball cards um in in sports cards in general um and it's only been like a couple of years that I've been collecting and I've only been doing the video stuff for 6 or 7 months now so of course the stuff that I'm going to show you might be like, oh, that's one of his top ten. Oh, that's that that card's garbage. You know, well, I mean, yeah, maybe to you, you know, it might be garbage, but to me, it's not. Um, so it's just kind of showcasing some of the stuff that I've, I've, I've been fortunate enough to pull. Um, you guys have probably seen a lot of the stuff, anyways. But I'm gonna start off. I've got just a couple of honorable mentions, and I'm gonna cheat on one of them, just because it's got a cool backstory to it, and it's, and it's one of my earliest memories of basketball cards, sports cards in general, you know, and plus it's going to be telling my age pretty much. So, um, so first of all, I got these honorable mentions and I, and I figured I'd put these couple right here just because I didn't actually pull these. Um, it was a break that I was in or breaks that I was in that I pulled. So I'm not going to say that I actually pulled them. I paid money to have somebody pull them for me, but wasn't actually me. So first of all, the 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 Rui Hachimura hyper. Um that was one of my, you know, better better cards that I've acquired, you know, this past year. So the Rui, um, out of out of a break, that was that was that. Now this next one, you've seen this is one of the better cards in my collection. This holds kind of a, a special place, you know, you know, in, in my card collection, because this was the very first break that I ever took a chance on. And I think it was 39 bucks I got in on an immaculate break. And there was only one, one wizard card pulled. And it was this Bradley Beal, number two out of 10, <laughs> with a sweet, sweet patch. And it's actually like you can, it's it's going to be hard to see, but you can actually see another letter like down in the corner and, and also in that corner as well. It's, but it's, I don't know if I can get it to where you can see it, but yeah, pulled a Bradley build. That was the only card that was pulled out of the break. And it was actually one of the better ones. And I saw this go on eBay. Somebody was selling like number, I think it was number seven out of 10 and it actually sold for like 215 bucks I want to say but um yeah mine's not going anywhere other than right here <laughs> right here with me so <laughs> yeah go wizards all right this card right here is very special this is this is one of my earliest memories that I have of of collecting cards back when Fleer <laughs> did 86 87 I was probably about seven years old and I actually remember going into, I actually remember going into a convenience store close by my house. It had this set up kind of like right in the middle where they just had, sorry about that, packs of cards just kind of thrown into this kind of bin. And I remember seeing this. I remember actually buying this and this is the only one that I still have. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar from 86, 87 Fleer um, that I still have from when I was a kid. And you can see it is rough around the edges. It, it, there is nothing special about this card other than the fact that I actually physically bought a pack of 86, 87 Fleer and could have potentially had a Michael Jordan. But... I still have the Cremo Abdul-Jabbar. I don't know what happened to the other. I mean, you can even see it's got some kind of stuff right down there on the card. But it's number one out of 132 in the set. And and, and I think that's just the coolest thing, man. Because I was like seven years old and I went in 
and I saw that pack for like 50 cent and bought it. And I just, I had to share that. I mean, it wasn't something that I pulled this last year, obviously. I mean, it was something I pulled 30, 30 years ago, 35 years ago. So it, it, it just this, I, I'm so glad that I still have this. And just to know that I actually purchased a pack of those cards. All right. So here we go. It's kind of some stuff that, um, the Donovan Mitchell blue velocity, uh, Donner's optic. That was, um, that was a pretty decent pull. You know, obviously he's probably the, the best rookie out of that class. Um, so to pull the, the velocity out of an optic, I think it was cello pack. So the Donovan Mitchell, um, a lot of this crap is stuff that, <laughs> you know, I had to put the Zion up there. That was all, it's like perfectly centered that, that I just pulled the other day. So there's another one that I actually pulled. Then of course we got a Jerry West autograph, which is actually a prism. I don't know if all these are silver. You know, they have the, the prism on there. So I don't know if they have ones that are just plain, you know, non, non holographic, but yeah, the Jerry West auto was pretty sweet. All right. This was probably one of the best earliest cards that I, when I started collecting, um, and I pulled out of a blaster, this was actually one of the better ones, out of a retail blaster, the Bogdan Bogdanovich autograph, rookie card, numbered 5 out of 25, and I'm pretty sure that I probably got that at Walmart, so that was, that was kind of nice, um, to pull that out of a, of a retail, because usually, you know, usually the stuff you get out of those, the autographs, especially out of the, the, what is that, the contenders, yeah, contenders basketball, it, the stuff you pull out of there is usually like no-name autographs, so that was actually really cool. This was another one, Um, the Jason Tatum NBA draft lottery ticket, Um, haven't, haven't picked up stuff, yeah, that right there, that was one of my better earlier hits. All right, next up we have the uh, red, white, and blue Zion, which was my actual first Prism Zion that I pulled, which took me forever, but I finally pulled one and, and pulled a parallel Zion. So that one's kind of cool. The John Morant photo variation uh, was in the first hanger Prism box that... Um, that right back there it was in the, the very first one along with the Admiral Schofield autograph. So that was a pretty, pretty decent uh, hanger box, which I wish I could find more of those. All right. Back when the Luka Doncic craze wasn't as nuts as it is now, I, I think at the beginning of this year, I bought a um, hobby box of hoops and it was like 40 bucks. It was like 40 bucks from blowout cards. Yeah, pulled the the best card that I pulled out of there was the Luca Rookie that's numbered 101 out of 199. And now it's like you can't get these boxes for like it's like a hundred dollars just for a hoops box because of, of this guy right here. So that was um that was like my first good Luca hit. And my last card. Man of the hour, another Luka Doncic, and that's that's probably the the best card that I actually own um right now. I mean again, I haven't been collecting long, so yeah, the Luka Doncic, uh the Emerald Chinese New Year, numbered seventeen out of eighty eight. That right there. That is probably my best pull. Um definitely uh, definitely this year and any past years probably of all time. But yeah, that right there was awesome because it was out of a $35 Chinese New Year box. And I thought I wasn't going to get anything. And <laughs> last pack, last pack mojo, dude, it, it came through for me. And that's what, <laughs> that's what it produced on the, the third card of the pack. So yeah, that right there is kind of, 
just wanted to showcase a, a you know a few little things and and show you guys some stuff that is in my collection. I mean, a lot of you guys have seen most of that stuff because I you know try to display it for luck. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed that. You know, just kind of showing you some stuff, and stick around because uh, like I promised, tomorrow for the new year, I'll I'll crack open that box, uh, the hobby box of NBA hoops and. Hope to God we get something good out of that. So you know, stay tuned for that. But if you um, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I mean, again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I love doing this stuff. I love talking with people. I've made some some pretty decent friends uh, talking to some of you guys, and and it's been awesome. And, I, and I've enjoyed it. It's been it's been a fun a fun year or almost full year. Like I said, it's been about seven months that I've been doing this uh, videos, but. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I really have, and and it's and it's been great. So, you know, keep con comments, you know, and stuff coming, and videos. If you're if you're one of the people that I watch, you know, keep them coming too, because I enjoy watching them. So, everybody have a safe, happy new year, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.